Hi everyone, it's Madlo72 here, and today I will show you how to make Pokemon sprites. So first thing you need to do is go to this website. It's a DeviantArt website. I'll put the link in the description. It gives you every single Pokemon sprite out there. So all you gotta do is right click, go save picture as. I already have it, so I'm not gonna worry about it. But yeah, just save it somewhere where you remember. And make sure it's PNG. It's important. Okay, now what you need to do is open up Paint. So on Paint, go File, go Open, find your, like, the big picture you just saved, and click on it. So now you have every single sprite and, like, everything. So now what you need to do is open up another Paint. That's where you're going to make your Pokemon sprites. So, we'll just make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so what you can do is choose two sprites, or you can do more, but try to get ones that are like the same size and position. See, like, for example, Nidoking Rhyhorn would be okay, but look how they're all turned, so that may not work. So find one that will work. I'm going to use one that I'm going to be using in my upcoming video on Pokemon sprites, so I'll remake that one for you to show, for a good example. So I used Gengar, so click on this tab up here, the one, the very top on the left, this looks you get draw and then you get to select. So draw around the Pokemon you want. So we're going to draw it. Okay, and now there's a box around it. Right click and click copy. Now open up your new paint. You can either go up here, you can either go up here and just click paste, or you can click on one of these two up the top, draw something, and click paste. See something you need to make sure though when you're doing it, make sure you click on this one, because that one will make it so you can't move other parts over to the other Pokemon. So click on this one. That'll make the background like movable. Next, I'll choose the other Pokemon that I'm using, which is Electrode. So I'll just select the tool again and circle around the Pokemon. Oops. Sorry. Make sure you get precise because you don't want to cut anything off. There we go. Okay, now but now do the same thing that you did before. Okay, so now we have our two Pokemon. So move them to a spot in the middle of the screen. Cause now you're gonna oops, too close. Now click on the magnifying glass and click on your Pokemon. Now you're zoomed in and you see all the pixels. That's important. Now it's the design process. First I'm gonna show you how to take parts from one Pokemon and put the other. But first things first. You notice how Electrode and Gengar are facing two different ways? That's bad. You don't want that. So, what we're going to do, since I'm going to use Electrode as the main body, I'm going to circle Electrode, and click Flip Rotate, and then you can turn any direction you want. So, like, since Gengar is facing left, you want to make Electrode face left. So, I'm going to make him face left. So, Flip Horizontal. Now he's facing left. Now, I want to take the parts off Gengar and put them on Electrode. So first, I'll start with this arm. So make sure you have this tool selected. You want to go white for the color. And just circle around the hand. Oops, that's not good. That was a bad one. Okay, just circle it. Click Copy. Right-click, click Copy. Draw a line. Go Paste. So now you have an arm. See, but that doesn't really fit in there, does it? So what you want to do... I, people, some people use an eraser, I use a pencil, it's easier. So just draw out all the odd edges. Try and make it a little bit more realistic. Just there. So, now we're going to circle it, put it on him. I know it looks weird right now, but just wait, the color will look cool. So I'm going to put it about right there. Okay, there, now you have your first arm. So now I'll move over. And I want to get his second arm now. So you just circle around his other arm. Copy. Draw. Paste. So now you have his other arm. And since you notice how on Gengar it's sort of behind him? That's what you're going to do with Electrode. So, oops, wrong one. So click on this tool, the freeform. Draw around Electrode. And move him to the spot. See, now it looks like it's actually behind him and not, like, just sitting there. Okay, so now we have his arms and legs. Gonna move him up a little bit. 
boom right there. So now we have his arms in. Now we're going to put in his horns. So draw around his horns, like you did before with the freeform select tool. Click paste. And then you have a horn. That looks kind of funny, doesn't it? So we need to do the technique that we did before and draw off a little bit. So get the pencil, go white, and then just draw off the odds and ends that you don't want in your picture. Ah, uh, that's good. So, no, see, to make it look better, you can either do this, which is, oops, you can draw around electrode and just move them there. But look, see that white spot? That's because white, since you clicked on this tab right here, it's going to be like that. So you can't put that there. You need to actually move this. You need to move the horn onto him. So we can do like that for now, and then we can recolor it later. So we can put that right there, and we'll recolor it later. So, yeah, that will be later on step. I'll show you how to recolor. Now, now get the other horn. And this one's sort of behind him too, so we'll get we'll draw electrode with the free form select and we'll move it right behind him. There. See, this one isn't as good as the one I already made because I had to do this like on the spot. Because the other one had a lot of time to edit and stuff, so this one is not gonna look as good. But you'll see it in the upcoming video. So So now do the legs. So now just circle around the legs, do the pace technique. And then you can just put, oh, wait, see, look, that doesn't look too good, does it? Well, if you think it looks good, then you're supposed to be pretty retarded. No offense. So just draw off the parts. Oh, wait. It's a bad part right there. Do the freeform, select it, and put it there. Okay, so it's looking pretty good so far. We only got three minutes left, so we got to hurry. Now copy the other leg. Okay, and look, that doesn't look good. That one's behind him, so we're going to do the other technique again, moving him. See, there. It's already looking good. So put this back over there. And now we're going to get his tail. So just circle around his tail, and then paste it back. See, it's sort of behind him, too. Because we don't want it to be, like, standing out. We don't want it to look like that all the pieces are just there. We want to make it actually look like it's part of the Pokemon. Okay. So there you go. There, you got your sprite. Now you want to recolor it. So we're running out of time. So I'm going to do that in the next video. Alright? See you next time.